So this is the setup for Freiburg for the uh, Musket and Pike series under the uh, Uwe banners. Uh, Thirty Years War French. So we have the French here, their center. The Bavarians left, the French left cavalry wing, the right Bavarian, which is uh, at cannons with the infantry, and then the cavalry arm up here, and then we have the left has two guys hanging out down here, it's technically way out of command. But the right wing of the French are going to be coming up this road uh, here. So, and the Bavarians are stuck in the woods. We try to get into the fortifications here. So the objectives for the French is to take these um, fortifications, uh, the cities here and over here along the road here are these hexes and uh, get a victory this is seven turns but there's supposedly rain so it, there's a die roll getting towards the end uh, turn five I think it is um, that could end the game much earlier and this is a two-parter. This is uh, the first day of the battle, then the middle day of the battle is a rest, and then the next day is um, fought somewhere over here along uh, this ridge line here. Um, I think I haven't set it up. So that scenario this is scenario one, and then there's a scenario two. Uh, it's, they reorganized over on the middle day. So we'll start playing this one. So this is the situation after the first turn. The center, yes, the French center was moves in open order because the train here is. Uh, causes formation hits moving to the vineyards, the abacus, or abacai. Um, so they set up on uh, with open order and then using the uh, overall commander and wing com commanders, we're going to try to get them back into formation. Uh, they luckily, in open order, were able to take the redoubt under the uh, area uh, overall commander there and Bavarians kind of move up in the other redoubts and the star fort there uh, kind of strung out in defense along here um, to keep everybody in command uh, the French left wing I just kind of keeping it there because the cavalry can't do much uh, over here and just kind of keeping the Bavarian cavalry over here kind of pinned down because I don't know if they want to either come out to the entrenchments and hit the left wing as heavy infantry is moving on to those redoubts or kind of be here to take on the French right coming through um, this road gap but I gotta remove the, the fortification there because the cavalry cannot move through and then these Bavarians here covering that 
bottleneck. The musketeers, they are moral. They have broken ran after covering there and moved back. But without officers, they well, can't really rally the unit. So, on to so this is the end of turn two. The French didn't do all that well. Uh, they tried to take the chapel here and uh, the close assault was uh, failed, broke that unit and also when they attacked, attacked the unit here in the redoubt uh, rolling pretty poorly, uh, lost, completely lost the unit, uh, heavy infantry. So the Bavarians are doing a little bit better on their die rolls here. Um, French are just holding uh, the left here, trying to figure out what to, to see how the the infantry can take these uh, redoubts and for the Bavarians the wing here is sitting uh, and waiting to see what happens here on the right and because uh, now that the French actually luckily yeah we're able to change orders breach the Abatai and so they can bring the rest of the wing on with cavalry because they would have had to march through the woods instead of just straight up the road uh, which would have been formation hits uh, throughout and the artillery here on this wing have been taking pop shots at their french left wing cavalry just sitting here and so this will be the start of turn three and we'll see how long this goes basically you know probably because this is turn three and i think uh we start with the, uh rolling on uh oh end of turn five uh, for rain, and if it rains, the game ends. So the French are really behind the, uh, here. They need to reform because every time uh, trying to do moving through this terrain, you take formation hits, but then you also take a formation hit if you uh, close assault so you could your units could start breaking like crazy and the Bavarians are not willing to move at this time so they have a bit of the advantage uh, that way but you're going to be in orders uh, to charge in order to really take out units, unless you're just going to sit and take pop shots at each other, uh, which you know, with the heavy infantry, if you must, it's basically one hit per shot. Unless you roll high, you get two. And if these guys are, you know, nines, they're not going to go anywhere all that quick. So, on to turn three. So this is the end of turn three of the scenario Schornsberg, or however you pronounce it, right here, um, which is part of the map of Freiburg um, battle. So, and we have here the French uh, center still charging through. They shot up the light infantry there. They, um, but their leader was killed. Uh, the 
uh, unit was completely wiped out. Um, the units are pushing forward. Uh, the heavy infantry took out uh, sent this guy packing. Uh, but the French have lost two heavy infantry, well, no, three infantry heavies. Uh, and the Bavarians have only lost one and a light infantry. Uh, we're able to take this area for victory. The next victory points are most needed are these two strong points, the redoubts. And then over uh, the right side, yeah, the right here is pushing up. They pushed. Bavarians back, but they had to waste some time to get rid of the Abatai there, and they're pushing up, but the uh, Bavarian cavalry has moved here um, it's in a blocking position, um, and the French left are just sitting here, but they're getting hit occasionally by these uh, cannon of the Bavarian left. Um, but Mercy is uh, over here, kind of helped take, uh, reorganize these units after the leader loss there. And um, so this is the last full turn without the roll for weather. Well, two turns, because on end of turn five, we'll see if it rain ends the scenario completely. French would like to basically get these guys moved up, uh, up here to the strong point in open order and then shift back to, to reorganize in their orders but when you're right in front of some heavy units and all this woods here that's going to be problematic of keeping your formation uh, together. So this is the end of turn four. Oh, actually I gotta move the broken guys. Um, so another French unit, morale broke right there, gotta move him back. Um, because he got shot up. Uh, Bavarians are holding their own here on the left. Um, the French left is not doing anything, getting still hit with pop shots from the cannons there. And the right on the other side for the French have moved up. Uh, they are able to, to break uh, the musketeers that were in the forest, but this guy advanced in and broke formation right in front of a heavy infantry but the musketeers are on its flank so, so hopefully that can do something. Uh, Bavarians have the cavalry here blocking but what good is that per se? I was kind of thinking I should have took them across the entrenchments here and slammed right into the French left cavalry and wiped them out and probably uh, come up around here to save these redoubts uh, because these guys are all moving on. So basically next turn is five and then at the end of it uh, we'll roll to see if the weather uh, ends the scenario. Uh, so this is the um, end of the Fourth turn, French are not doing too well. Uh, oh, I gotta move the broken guys. Um, trading shots here with the forts, trying to, but they're taking casualties quicker than the guys in the forts. Um, so they're kind of bogged down and need to reform, uh, get out of open formation. They're on the uh, right wing. The left wing here is just 
trying to get out of received charge, getting shot up by the cannons over here. And uh, the right wing cannon came up here. But since they're in charge orders, they had to move into the thickets taking formation hits. Uh, cavalry kind of took some pot shots, did a close assault on the musketeers there, pushed them back. Uh, poor rolling there. And, uh, cavalry retreated. Uh, very bad rolling on these uh, close uh, combat in the village. Because, uh, and the guys in the village are taking pot shots at the guys that move up and they're taking some massive hits but this musketeer in the rear is starting to be annoying um, these guys broke and so looks like those guys are gonna probably die if they can't move um, yeah on to turn five. This is the end of the scenario. Um, rain stop, um, was rolled, so game over on turn five. Because uh, that was a one, uh, zero to six uh, rain, game over. And it was rolled, but the uh, Bavarians pulled it out to a draw, uh, basically by using the uh, cavalry here as uh, the French came up, they counter-attacked with because the units were next to each other. Uh, pushed some guys back. They couldn't retreat. Died. Um, and then up here, the Bavarian left was able to charge and uh, take back the uh, chapel and kill a bunch of Badly bruised uh, heavy infantry here, uh, gaining points. Um, but most of the killed units were here um, due to the lack of retreating and taking back the hex um, basically helped because if they didn't take the hex back, it would have been a French marginal victory. Um, or thereabouts, because you would have had to count up casualties to really see. Um, so, yeah, this had some interesting things of, it kind of worked that the right wing of the Bavarians were over here, instead of trying to sh take out the left wing here, but that's a possible option to gain the victory points and keeping the Bavarian force together, but the French will just walk right in here and take all these victory points, hexes here, and if they get through quick enough. Uh, but they kind of got stopped by the unit here, um, covering that water line. And, um, oh, I forgot the morale. Broken guys. Well, they're still on the map, so they wouldn't um, count for victory points. Um, but also the French coming through open order kind of helped, but then they got all shot up. And for some reason, I could not get the or forgot to change the orders for the Bavarians left, making them more aggressive. And wondering if. Instead of using the cavalry, is use these units to try to take the cavalry unit on the side here. Uh, they tried to change the orders the whole game uh, out of received charge, and they could not do it with the poor leader there. Oh, just rolling very badly. Uh, but it was touch and go to the very last turn. I think the French could reorganize and take back the hexes, uh, but this uh, heavy infantry with artillery is really holding out there, the Star Redoubt. And uh, 
Yeah, so interesting little scenario. So the Bavarians held by their teeth and saved by their race.